So welcome to my quick Podia favicon tutorial. This is something that I've noticed in the past that whenever I utilize software, if there is an ability to at least use a favicon, it's usually a tricky thing to find. It's actually very easy and I wanna show you how here. In case you haven't gotten to test out Podia or you wanna follow along, the link for the free plan will be in the description. So in case you're not familiar with the favicon, it's this little icon at the top of the tab right here. We also have one here. So this is what we can add and edit. What we want to do is go to our site right here and click on edit site. It's going to be blank at the time. I will be doing another video showing you how you can edit this around and change it around, but let's do the favicon first. First things first, right? All the important stuff. We're clicking on homepage. We're going all the way down to the bottom and clicking on site settings. And towards the top, you can see choose file or drag here. Now, if you're curious about how to actually get an image to that size, there's a website here called favicon.io that you can see up above. And then we have uh, favicon hyphen converter what you can do is just add in any big picture that you have and then when you click on download it'll give you these smaller versions of it so what i'm going to do is just upload that smaller favicon so i'm going to get that from my desktop one second okay and there is that so we have nothing else there that's just pop up search description if you want to utilize that let's click on done also i almost completely forgot to show you where it is anyway so let's go to site uh let's just do view site and it's going to be up at the top left there keep in mind if it doesn't show it could be a cache thing where you just got to refresh it or give it some time like i said i'll be working on the website in a different video to show you how that works but there we have it our favicon that's how you can change it around very quick tutorial and like i said this is usually something that comes up with a lot of software so in case you're using it and you're like how do i edit that now you know <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video